A Channel View woman is out of jail on bond after being arrested for selling tens of thousands of dollars in fake designer goods. ABC 13 reporter Jessica Willie is live with a look at the merchandise in question and reaction from the woman who's been charged. Jessica. Yeah, Eric, Claudine Delva made her $30,000 bond and was released from jail. Her next court date isn't until August. She said police took everything from her store, which she called bougie on a budget. The North Houston storefront of bougie on a budget advertised Fendi, Gucci, and Louis Vuitton. Inside, according to Houston police, there were shelves of fake designer bags, clothing, and accessories shown here in photos exclusive to ABC 13. Police and Homeland Security investigations seized all of it Wednesday and arrested 37-year-old Claudine Delva. Delva wasn't home when we went to her house in Channel View, but her son called her when we were there. That's a lie. She denied having all that merchandise. The charging document with a detailed list of all the goods police say she possessed, among them 130 pairs of Nike shoes, 50 pairs of Gucci shoes, 39 pairs of Louis Vuitton shoes, 23 pairs of Cartier sunglasses, and 228 items of Gucci clothing. Delva's Facebook page says that she is out of business, even though we spotted some more merchandise. I see some Gucci shoe boxes in the doorway here. Are those real? Oh, what are you doing in, in, inside of my house? I'm not. I'm not inside your house. I'm not inside your house. Then you get. Why are you going through my trash? Then I'm not oh, going through your trash. ABC 13 has learned a private investigator hired by high-end brands to root out counterfeit goods tipped police off to bougie on a budget. The grand opening sign is still up. The charge against Delva trademark counterfeiting, the estimated retail value of the goods, more than $150,000. I'm not open another shop because I don't want to get in trouble with the, with the law or anything like that. So I'm done with this. Jessica Willie, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.